In this video, we will be discussing the topic of antibiotic resistance and the various types of bacteria that have become resistant to antibiotics. We will discuss the potential dangers of these antibiotic-resistant bacteria, as well as what can be done to prevent their spread and treat infections caused by them. This video is aimed at healthcare professionals and patients alike, as the issue of antibiotic resistance is a growing concern for everyone. Methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus MRSA. MRSA is a type of staph bacteria that is resistant to many antibiotics and can cause skin infections, pneumonia, and sepsis. This superbug can cause skin infections such as boils, impetigo, and cellulitis, as well as more severe infections such as pneumonia and sepsis. Symptoms include red, swollen, and painful skin, fever, and a general feeling of being unwell. Vancomycin-resistant heterococcus VRE. VRE is a type of gut bacteria that is resistant to the antibiotic vancomycin and can cause urinary tract infections, bloodstream infections, and endocarditis. Symptoms can vary depending on the type of infection, but may include fever, chills, abdominal pain, and difficulty urinating. Klebsiella pneumoniae carbapenemase, KPC. KPC is a type of gut bacteria that produces an enzyme that breaks down carbapenem antibiotics and can cause urinary tract infections, pneumonia, and sepsis. Symptoms may include fever, cough, shortness of breath, abdominal pain, and a general feeling of being unwell. Extended spectrum beta-lactamase, ESBL. ESBL is a type of bacteria that produces an enzyme that breaks down beta-lactam antibiotics and can cause urinary tract infections, bloodstream infections, and pneumonia. Symptoms may include fever, chills, abdominal pain, and difficulty urinating. Carbapenem-resistant Echinitobacter baumannii, crab. Crab is a type of bacteria that is resistant to carbapenem antibiotics and can cause urinary tract infections, bloodstream infections, and pneumonia. Symptoms may include fever, cough, shortness of breath, abdominal pain, and a general feeling of being unwell. Colistin-resistant Escherichia coli, Crescent. Crescent is a type of gut bacteria that is resistant to the antibiotic colistin and can cause urinary tract infections, bloodstream infections, and sepsis. Symptoms may include fever, chills, abdominal pain, and difficulty urinating. Neisseria gonorrhoeae is a type of bacteria that causes the sexually transmitted infection gonorrhea, which can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility, and sepsis. This superbug can cause the sexually transmitted infection gonorrhea, which can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility, and sepsis. Symptoms may include pain or burning during urination, vaginal discharge, and bleeding between periods. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is a type of bacteria that can cause lung infections in people with cystic fibrosis, burn and wound infections, and urinary tract infections. Symptoms may include fever, cough, shortness of breath, and a general feeling of being unwell. Clostridium difficile is a type of bacteria that can cause severe diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and fever. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is a type of bacteria that causes tuberculosis, a serious lung infection that can also spread to other parts of the body. Symptoms may include a persistent cough, chest pain, weight loss, and fever. Streptococcus pneumoniae is a type of bacteria that can cause pneumonia, meningitis, and sepsis. Symptoms may include fever, cough, shortness of breath, headache, and a general feeling of being unwell. Salmonella is a type of bacteria that can cause food poisoning and can lead to serious infections in people with weakened immune systems. Symptoms may include diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and fever. In this video, we have explored the topic of antibiotic resistance and the various types of bacteria that have become resistant to antibiotics. As with all health issues, please consult with your doctor before making any diagnosis. Thanks for watching.